Let's go into something very uh, important that we like to talk about. Now, everyone wants to achieve peak performance. In achieving a peak performance, either in business or wherever you find yourself in your discipline or endeavor, you're going to work with other people. So it brings us to the issue of emotional intelligence. How do we use emotional intelligence to achieve peak performance and peak success? It's what we'll be talking about next. And I have with me, joining me on Zoom, Abiola Champ Salami. He is a world-class performance coach and he's joining me via Zoom. Champ, good morning. It's good to see you. Hey, Mike, it's good to see you. Good to always be on this show with you. You are doing an incredible job and shout out to the TVC team. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, uh, everyone, of course, aspires to be the best in everything they do. They aspire to achieve the best in whatever they put their hands into. But we don't see everyone achieving that at the end of the day because everything you do is in relationship to someone else. So talk, talk to us about how central is emotional intelligence in this regard, because you have been coaching people across Nigeria and, and beyond uh, in this regard. Yes, emotional intelligence is a critical, critical skill. And it, it's a great thing that we're having this discussion this morning that you're asking this question. Um, a lot of times, many people don't pay attention to the impact of their emotions on other people. Uh, many people are not even conscious on how their emotions get in the way of their work, how their emotions get in the way of serving a customer, how their emotions get in the way of being that fantastic employee to the boss, how their emotions get in the way of, of robbing them of profitability, even as entrepreneurs. You see, emotions are powerful. They guide our decisions. You know, They determine our decisions. They determine our actions. I mean, so imagine. Um, an individual that is that that got angry due to something and then the person got angry and the person lost a lot of money because the person said or did something he or she's not supposed to do to a customer right you know and so which is why it's important that we understand we master our emotions you see the beginning of emotional intelligence is self-awareness which is you and i myself as an individual that I understand my emotions, that I understand the triggers of my emotions, that I understand what is that thing that gets me angry. And I don't just wallow in anger, but I understand what gets me angry. When I know my trigger, I can start to manage myself from that point of view. You know, that I know what it is that makes me afraid. I mean, fear is a big thing in the minds of a lot of people. Some people have big dreams to achieve, but they are afraid to even step out to do it. Some people have friends, you know, that can support them in the work that they are doing, but they are even afraid to approach them. Some people have mentors and bosses. I mean, people ahead of them that can give them a helping hand, but they're even afraid to approach them, you know, to seek help that is required. When we master emotional intelligence, we're able to control our negative emotions. We're able to cultivate positive emotions. We're able to control ourselves and manage ourselves, essentially. We're able to lead other people effectively. We're able to cultivate rewarding relationship with the people most important to our success. All right, now you have a book, The Magic of Emotional Intelligence. And uh, talk to us basically, why is emotional intelligence likened to magic in this context? Great, great. It is because the moment we get conscious of managing our emotions, then our control becomes magical. You see, um, the difference between animals and human beings is that one, one of the major differences is that Animals don't have willpower, right? Which is the power to choose our responses. Emotional intelligence is magical because it empowers our willpower to choose our responses, to choose what to say and what to do so that we can always put our best foot forward always. Such that it's not just because somebody insulted, insulted you and then you react in a particular way that is not productive, that will not help you to achieve your success in life. You know, it's not just because You've been given a tax and a task and then you have i mean you know uh, one of the things a lot of people say when they go for interviews for a job they'll say oh you know i can work on that pressure mike i'm sure you probably <laughs> said that on your first job you know you know say, oh you know i can work on that pressure that oh you know what even if when there's no pressure i cannot work but give me as much pressure and then i can be effective until they start to see snippets of pressure and then they cave in and you ask that i thought you said you could work on the pressure you see pressure 
is real. Now, in managing pressure, emotional intelligence becomes magical in helping us to choose our response to the pressure. So we know what to say and what to do to manage the, the volume of work that we have to do. You see, work will continue to increase. Somebody right. said that um, um, the reward of a great job is more work. You All know, right. And Ab you Ab always still have the same time. Yes. Uh, Abiola, yes. sorry, because we're trying to manage time. Let me ask you this before we go. Now, emotional intelligence is a state or is a kind of a skill that which people should imbibe. But those who are just coming up, who don't have an idea of what emotional intelligence is, where should they start from? Okay. Um, they can start from going online. Go online. Type into Google emotional intelligence. You will find some things that you can read there. Um, go on YouTube. You know, type it there. You will find some things you can read. Just go online and search. You, it's a great place to start, and you can advance by seeking um, um, platforms. You know, to also improve on yourself. And maybe, maybe let me quickly say that we have something coming up in a few days, in two days' time on Sunday, and it is absolutely free, which is a place to also start for everyone. You know, it is absolutely free. If you follow me on Instagram at Abiola Champ, you will see registration details for you to join in and start to learn emotional intelligence and become the successful individual you dream and aim to be. All right. Thank you very much, Abiola Champ Salami. Thank you for what you do and thanks for joining us on the program today.